Hello, friends. Today, I'm going to read I'm Happy Sad Today. It's a book all about our emotions that we're feeling, which I'm sure, if you're anything like me, right now there's lots of emotions going on inside of you. So let's read this book to help understand some of them. I'm Happy Sad Today by Lori Britton. Sometimes I just feel happy. That's all. I feel the noisy, giggly, jump and run kind of happy. Sometimes I feel a different kind of happy when I'm cozy in my favorite spot with my favorite book. I'm the quiet kind of happy. Other times, I feel sad. Once, I was sick, and I couldn't go to my friend's birthday party. I had a crying, nothing's right sort of sad. The day our neighbors moved away was a different kind of sad. I didn't smile for that whole day, or even part of the next day. Lots of times, I have more than one feeling inside of me. Like when my mom picks me up from school, I have to stop playing. I'm happy to see her, but sad to leave my friends. I say, Mom, I'm happy sad together. Last week, I was friendly and shy at once. I felt too shy to talk to the new girl, even though I gave her a friendly smile. Sometimes I feel nervous and excited at the same time. That's how I felt about my first sleepover. I was nervous for two whole days before. Then it was time to go and excited too. One time, I had two big feelings swirling around inside of me. I was sad and mad when my friends wouldn't let me play. I felt sad they weren't being nice and mad they didn't let me play. Both feelings together. When I fell down at the playground, I wasn't sure how I felt or what I wanted. Part of me wanted to be picked up like a little kid. Another part of me wanted to get up and keep climbing. I had a little kid feeling and a big kid feeling mixed together. I had big feelings when my baby brother was born. I was proud to be a big sister. And I was jealous of all the attention he was getting. I had proud and jealous feelings inside of me. That was confusing. Last week, I learned to cut out circles with scissors. I can't, couldn't cut a curvy line on my first try. I was frustrated. I didn't want any help. I was determined to keep trying. Finally, I did it. When I have more than one feeling inside of me, I don't have to choose. I know that all my feelings are okay at the same time. If I want to, I can tell my friends about my feelings. Or I can tell a grown-up about my feelings. I can say what happened and how I feel. Sometimes I don't even have to talk. I can just be with someone and feel better. Sometimes when my feelings are mixed together, I like to pretend. I can pretend my animals have the same feelings I do. I can dance and swirl around 
just like my feelings swirl inside of me. Moving helps me feel better. I can even paint two pictures at the same time to show those feelings together. I make up my own words for my together feelings sometimes. If I am sad and mad together, I say I'm smad. Or if I'm feeling shy and happy, I say I'm shappy. I can make up a lot of pretend feeling words. And do you know what? When I'm older, sometimes I'll still have different feelings mixed together inside of me. And that's okay. Look at all those words. Smad. Worry sad. Seppy. Glappy. Happy sighted. Lappy. Love happy. Hap sad. Braverous. And sighted. Scared and excited. So it's okay to have lots of feelings inside of you. And this book helped us to understand that it's okay to have all those feelings. And it's okay to talk about our feelings with an adult or a friend that we trust. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye, friends!